What's up, Get Fit Fam, Authentic Fam, YouTube Fam? Back with my boy Barry. You already know what he loves. <laughs> boobs. Right now he going through the the roll call, the whole roll call, showing me the upcoming talent. Yeah, hold on, this girl. Hold on, this girl. Where, where, where's my inbox at? I want to see that little young thing from Scarlet's again, man. You need to, you need to make an introduction. You need to pass that on to me. Where the fuck is my inbox at? Where's my DM at? Hold on, hold on. Where the fuck is my DM at? Barry out here smashing for a living. <laughs> he over here. You whoremongerer. You over here get. But then you know, the cool thing is I'm not doing a lot of smashing. I do booby stuff, so I don't got to fuck everybody. You know what I'm saying? He's doing a lot of smashing, bro. A lot, a lot. So, yo, tell me about this other little fetish thing you was talking about. What they call fabs, fobs, pogs? What do, what do you call them? Oh, pogs, man. Everybody knows pogs. Pogs. I don't know, bro. Damn. I don't know, bro. Yo, pogs. I mean, I mean, fat ass white girls. Who doesn't know what that is? You never heard that? I don't know, man. Should I be smashing fat ass white girls? I mean, I don't know, man. I mean, you're, you know. Is that enjoyable? I don't. I mean, you're, you know, you kind of. I don't know. I don't know, man. I mean, you know, it depends on. <laughs> You, you're, you, you, you know, you probably like them more petite. You know what I'm saying? Um, I nah, I like them hella thick, but um, there you go. They, well, they but not fat be. though. Nah, nah, nah fat, them. I'm a fat as in I P like, you know, thick, Paul, muscular. Fat as in PHAT. Okay, so you think about spelling fat differently? You change. Yeah, that means a different meaning. Yeah. <laughs> fat, not, not FAT, not, not fog. Fog as in PHAT. She was me earlier. I don't know why. I haven't had good luck this morning, bro. I've been saying good morning to every beautiful woman I've seen. They've all been ignoring me today, so. Yeah. I don't know. My Tinder is looking excellent, but uh, my real life I today is Tinder, not looking though. so good. Tinder, yeah. Oh, you're talking about this this chick right here? No, nah, she was sitting there. It was so weird. She, I was, she came and said, where you at? She's mm. like, can I sit next to you? I thought really? to myself, why the fuck you want to sit next to me? We got all these other chairs over here. Why didn't you? I'm glad why didn't you, you, why didn't you I didn't see a damn thing. She's like, I'm going to be on my phone. I was like, all right, I'm right Bro, here. Bro, that could have been a spontaneous. Uh, she I might, don't even know that I'm to that. Let's make some money. I'm not really attracted to that. Drum. Yeah, but you could have you could have, you like have sold that. To... You could have been like spontaneous on the spot. Hey, look at Liz. So watch this chip right here. She says. She look all right. She says, fuck, I want you to play with my titties. Mm. Right? Then she, then she says a picture of the joints, right? Let me see the titties. Yeah, I play with them motherfuckers. Let's see titties them. are huge, bro. Yeah, she's just they're too thing. big, bro. I don't. She's a California little, little, little Latin. You and your fetish, bro. I can't do it. These are the titties. Like one titty is this Look big. Look at that, man. I would get all over those titties. Flies on. Yeah. Oh, she got a little dog back there too. Oh. Yeah, the donkey. I could deal oh, with. Oh, what mouth. is that? That's a toy, or that was That's a a, toy, a yeah. real person? I don't think she's. Look at this joint, man. That's a freak. Oh yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah, why do her dildos look so real? Uh oh. They look real. She was like a, a clear. It was like it was clear. Was it really? It was like see through. Yeah. Mm. Oh, so anyway, what we were talking about today? What were oh, we talking Elon about? Musk is, is just going through with it. Get to the point. We were talking about being intentional. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to building your business, building your brand, um, your fitness, life, get, your life, get, getting women. Yeah. Your, I mean, yeah. Obviously, basically, your your life. And um, you know, we were just talking because. You know, we're two individuals that don't struggle with that. So we're trying to figure out what's the special sauce as to why I don't struggle with the day to day. You know what I mean? Like anything that I've ever done from the first day to the last day, my energy was relatively the same as far as my motivation. So it's like even though I didn't have any results or any gains to start off with, I still you know, I mean, even in crime, bro, like like. I was, you know what I'm saying, motivated the same when I was pulling off little heists and when I was pulling off huge heists. The motivation was like the same. The chick with, with girls, same thing. When like I'm going up to girls and I'm trying to get the number and it's not happening, it's like I still had the same motivation then as when it's happening 89, 90% of the time. I'm getting a number and we're going out and we're hanging out. Um, you get that, yo, you got that, you know, first off, look. You, you, you're a bodybuilder, number one. Right? Yeah, but, but but when I started that, I, I was a scrawny dude, and I still had the same so like, you motivation. Had, you had that. You had that. The ethic. Motiv mm. The ethic. You know. The motivation. You know what I'm saying? You have the, the discipline. I don't think it's that though. It is. I, it, I think. I think it's. I think it's that. I think it's a mindset. Like, how do you feel it's about you, about how you feel about yourself? Yeah. So, like for example. I feel like you like yourself. Like before, the, before those numbers were on that screen, did you like yourself more or less? 
than now? Yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna be honest, you know, because I do go, I do have avid flow. Uh, mm. avid, I do have ups and downs, right? Mm. And um, this summer was one of them where I was like, I was always confident about the situation, right? But I wasn't walking in that confidence all the time. I, all the time. I, like it was, I was in a drought this summer, and it was just all my end. Like I just didn't like. I was like, "Why well, am I not going?" I mean, because you know, and the reason why for me is like certain things. I feel like got to be. I, I would want to be there or in place, and so yeah, now and and, and, and no, then, but that, that's like a level of perfectionism a little bit, which can be a hindrance. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I got. I said, "Fuck it." Listen, here's we I am right now. Mm. I know I can do this. Mm. Let's do this. You know what I'm saying? And that's it, man. Like, you know, like reverse reverse engineer it basically. Yeah, then let's snap back, let's get back. And one thing about me and life and, and stuff like that, one thing that I thrive off of, man, is is momentum. You know what I'm saying? Like I But you gotta create like that the, momentum. Yeah, that you get the first W, mm. like in sales, you get the first sale. Okay, where's the second one at? Where's mm-hmm. the next one at? You I'm know on the saying? roll. Where I'm on the roll. I used to feel like that at Radio Shack. Yeah, <laughs> when I used to work at Radio Shack, bro, <laughs> I'm trying to start from early. First motherfucker through the door. How you doing, sir? How can I help you? What can I get for you? There you go. You know, and if I get that sale, I'm on it. I'm like, let me upsell this Little motherfucker. Happens, let me sell the insurance so, on this bitch. So what, you said, so what you said before, it was mental. The mental part was, yo, I want to get the win. Mm-hmm. So, and then you go out and get that first win. And then small, like, I'm creating the momentum yeah, myself. Then, then you got it. That feeling, and you're like, all right. It's like crack, and he's like, all right, let's get the next one. Yeah. Then I'm looking at, like, what can I not do? How can I do this bigger? I got to scale more. Like, any business, no matter what, same shit here. Well, see, that's, gotta that, scale. that's, I get more. that's I get what more. I need to tap into. How can I do this in one day? Because that's what you're killing right now. So I need to let him, you know what I'm saying, influence me to be more uh, creative on how I can, you know, expand, maximize, you know what I mean? But... You know, you know, you know, you know, you can do it right now. Mm. Real simple, dog. It's real simple, yo. That's what I do all the time, man. So oh, take notes? No, I just web that shit out, bro. Like, okay. I just put like, yo, you know. No, nigga, tell me an example. Don't don't draw I'm no right new now, shit. Bro. I'm doing it right now. Uh, this is Barry. Uh huh. Right. Mm-hmm. How do I dominate? How do I? What what can I do? Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. We get the website. www. We get the website. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. We get. Merch. This is all about very, very scaling next level, right? Mm-hmm. We recruit the best, the biggest tents in there are, <laughs> right? We recruit, right? Then we do so we market marketing. And that's a whole other thing, marketing. Then you go social media. I mean, then you go events. Mm, I see what you're doing. Then I do my own events. Okay, I see what he means by web it out now. Event so. Wherever you are, all right, you, boom. What are you doing? All right, you too. Okay. You know what I mean? All right, let me show them. Let me show them because this is actually interesting. It looks like fucking chicken scratch, but it's interesting. (laughs) So basically what he did was he created Barry in a bubble and what things he needed to do to expand Barry in separate bubbles. And then each bubble, he expanded that bubble into other things within that bubble that he can maximize the bubble. So Barry's the first bubble. How can... Barry maximize or the other bubbles and then how can you maximize that bubble or the more bubbles so 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 I, 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 yeah I definitely like it and one of the things he's really good at is creating healthy working relationships with uh, with the talent that he's dealing with and I mean that's gonna hit you threefold because what happens is when you let those people know what your intentions are and what you're trying to do and you build a good rapport with them now what happens is they start working for you subconsciously because now they're pushing you they're pushing your agenda because they like you and then they know what you're trying to do so naturally they help you whenever they have an opportunity to like oh yeah i know a guy that's trying to do this and this i should link you two up right exactly uh so a lot of guys you, you know you guys are struggling with creating a network you're struggling with creating your own momentum and the problem is you keep worrying about what you don't have and where you are right now as opposed to focusing on where you're going to be tomorrow and then the day after and the day after and the day after and the day after and if you just do shit in increments bro like he was saying just be intentional always be intentional I promise you it makes a difference in every realm of life there there is it's impossible not to get better at something if you if you move towards a goal incrementally it's impossible what happens is you're going to get there 
It's just a matter of how long is it going to take you based on your pace. So if you do a little bit every day, well, you'll be, you know, that accumulation closer at the end of the week. But if you do a lot every day, well, then shit, you're going to be really, you know, much closer at the end of the week. So I guess that's a matter of tempo, tempo. Yeah. Um, so you need to find a healthy place uh, as far as you're not maxing out, but you're getting as close to that as you can without burning yourself out. Like when you're lifting weights, you want to get to like two reps before that max. So if your max is 10, you want to stop at about eight, eight and a half, maybe nine tops. That way you don't burn yourself out, but you push yourself, um, you know, adequately. And then you can come in and push it again tomorrow, bro. So anyhow, anytime I get with Barry, it's motivational. So yeah, thanks, bro. Thanks, man. I wasn't planning on recording shit. I just came to get drugs from him because that's my. Fuck <laughs> with you. <laughs> Quit dry snitching. Um, oops, 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 oops. Nah, we don't do drugs over here. Nah, but um, smart drugs, switch drugs. Nah, but he's always doing his thing, bro. And I like the fact that he can take it on the go with him. He's he's a minimalist, but yeah, he's he's making bank. And um, you define the odds, bro, because a lot of people don't know how to do that. They don't know how to stay consistent. They don't know how to get on their own grind, create their own market, and they also don't know how to uh, be frugal, be uh, be humble. Humble with their Yeah With their shit Yeah that's a struggle man Motherfucker I can't even remember Last time I seen you With a haircut Oh shit my shit I'm talking about Your goddamn beard Oh I gotta shape up now Shit up But every time I see him He's showing me stubs though Check stubs Every time I fucking see you So But then there's other Motherfuckers that's broke But they stay at the barbershop Every four or five days (laughs) Yo you trying to say My shit ain't There's a line I got line now I'm trying to say When you grinding You ain't got time for that shit Shit My chick always complaining. Why don't you get your dreads twisted? Why don't you go get the shape up? It's like, bitch, because I'm fucking grinding. I don't got time. Time I'm sitting in the fucking I'm out here grinding, waiting chair. Yeah. College. I'm out here. Nah, because you know what I hate about going to the barbershop? That wait. Unless you're going to bring your computer and shit to the fucking barbershop. It's a waste of goddamn time waiting nah, man, waiting 40 minutes for, 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 for a 20 minute haircut. You did that appointment. Oh, I, don't want to do appointment. I do do the appointment. That's my point. You, you still, still be waiting? You still got to wait a little something. Shit. Whatever. Ready to go. Anyway, guys, we're going to keep this one sh- uh, short because we're probably going to go get in a bunch of other shit. But the message or the tip for today is stay intentional. And I think I think Tate was saying something like that. Andrew Tate was saying, well, Andrew Tate has said a million, quadrillion things. But there was a, a, a soundbite I heard when he was basically saying that he's very calculated. That all the successful people that he knows are very calculated people, meaning they move like a chessboard. Everything they do is to set up and begot a, a, a future move. And I think, I think the the young guys today they definitely lack that type of uh, foresight. I was, I was talking to my homie Grover, and he keeps on reminding us that from the age of eight to eighteen, he planned his life. And he did exactly what the fuck he planned to do for that 10 year space of time. And he was eight years old. So it, it doesn't surprise anybody that part of what he does for a living is he plans. He's like a professional planner. Companies pay him to basically plan their shit out. So that's just something he obviously had a, a talent for from a young age. But a lot of guys nowadays, they barely even know what they want or where they want to be. But they damn sure do not have any type of plan. Um, comprised of how to get there and and my whole thing is you don't even start off knowing what the requirements are but it's your job to go research that it's your job to go say okay i want to be successful at this so now i got to go research this and go figure out what are all the components what are all the requirements what the ingredients what is it that i need to do to become good at this and then what are the milestones in which that i can measure myself and that helps you determine your workload like these are all the things i need to do now, what order am I going to tackle these things man, in? Man, real, real talk, man. It, it, so, I think it's so easy that it's complicated. It's such an easy thing to do. I mean, mm. I remember back when I was, you know, was looking to get, you know, I, I was in IT early, right? Like, I, I remember wanting to get into IT and wanting to move up. I remember, like, and I, and I did. I, and I got six figure salary pretty quick. You know, you know, mid, you know, for me, mid twenties, right? Um, and I was like, well, how, you know, how do I do it? Well, I remember going on LinkedIn. I want to be assistant administrator. Let me look at this guy. Yeah. Let me look at his. What does he have? He did it. Is this certification? Is that? Is that? All right. Cool. Let me. All right. Let me. Now it gives me my own plan. 
That's right. about tech. I can actually study. Reverse engineering. Get the certification. All right. And look, look at the resume. I'm going to have my resume. Like, this guy's already in the position for like 10 years. Here's what he did before. All right. You, you know, did, like you ever co- did you ever consider reaching out to a motherfucker and, and getting mentorship? Or you just didn't even need to because you just was like. I, I, actually, it's funny. Now that yeah, you bring that up. That's So I used to do back in the day on LinkedIn. You know, mm. Like professional shit. I would reach out to managers and schedule informative interviews. I don't want to, I know you're not hiring. I just want to interview, meet with you. Yeah, pick my brain. what you're looking for. Right. You know, da, da, da. And I, so I, I did, I went on several of those I was in D.C. So. Huh. Yeah. It's interesting shit. Informative interviews, you know what I'm saying? Or. Informative interviews. You know, it's, it's better, it's better than just, a, it's better than the, hey, you want to go to coffee, get some coffee, or, get, you know, get some lunch, you know what I mean? Like, nah, nah. Hey, look, I want an informative interview. I want to mm. come in. Understand what you're looking for when you do look for it. Mm-hmm. What you're hiring for it, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, because when you when you ask those questions and you make those type of requests, you put people in a position where even if they don't want to be bothered with it, they have to because they're like, all right, all right, this person's trying to, you know what I mean? You put them in a position where they can't turn you down, they can't deny you. Right. I mean, they can, but they'd be an ultra asshole and their mouth would taste like shit for the rest of the day because they know that was some some real dickhead shit. Right. Uh, so yeah, so I mean, there's a lot of young guys out here that. They're running to the internet for advice, and it's going to sound counterproductive what I'm saying, like it's a conflict of interest, but I'm always telling you guys, get the fuck out there and talk to older men that are where you want to be or have been where you want to be and ask for help. You'll be surprised at how motivated uh, people are to fucking help you. You'd be surprised. Sometimes the help that you can get for free is more valuable than the shit you would go pay for. Right. <laughs> So, yeah, man, so stop being shy. Closed mouth don't get fed. The uh, squeaky wheel is the one that gets the oil, fellas. So quit being a bitch. Say it with your chest. Uh, excuse me, uh, sh- sir, could I possibly... Shut up, bitch. Ask me like a fucking man, and I might... <laughs> I might accommodate your punk ass. All right, guys, we're out here. We're trying to cut this at the 20-minute mark. Anything you want to say? Uh, yeah, 20 minutes? Anything yeah, you want to say to these little virgins, Barry? Virgins. Uh, nah, man. Hey. Big compared to you, we all virgins. Yeah, right. Well, not yeah, me, yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. Not I've, I've had too much, uh, too much bootie. Nah, man. Just be, yo, know, just uh, stay the course, man. Stay focused. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, number one, believe in yourself. You know, see, have the vision. Yo, as corny as that sounds, and, and, and also, it's so simple. And also, I, you know, I get this a lot. I can't. I, I, so I'm gonna speak to one person. I'm gonna speak to mm-hmm. some questions that I get a lot. Mm-hmm. How did you get started here? Well, I say, yo. I'm going to say this, and this may sound stupid, or I'm, I'm not insulting you, mm. I, I, and this may sound really simple what I'm saying, but, it, but, but it's a guy on his truth. It's truth. You have to start. Yeah. Is and don't you, stop. Right. That's the thing. Start you know, and don't how stop. Do you, how do I get started? Well, you you got to start. Start and don't stop. Right. I mean, that's another, the don't stop thing is another, another thing, but mm. guys, how do you get started? When it comes to getting started, you got to start. You start. I mean, the rest is the goals, mm. yeah, don't stop, whatever. But like, you're like, uh, you know, what's the... You just start where you are, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yo, you got an iPhone? All right, good, you're good. Let's just start. Let's <laughs> we'll start. You know what I mean? Like, That's what motherfucker told me with YouTube. He was like, you got an iPhone? That's what Walter told me. He was like, you got an iPhone? He's like, why are you waiting on the best camera? Why are you waiting on this? Why are you waiting on that? Just start. Just start, dog. All right, guys. Uh, get in the comments. Uh, I got a guy coming on as a producer. We're still in negotiations. And uh, the first thing he told me was... Get these guys in the comments so that we have a better understanding of what they think uh, and what they want because our first mission is service. Our first mission is to serve uh, first and foremost, and then we'll figure out the money aspect and the monetization afterwards. And I think that's a, uh, I think that's a pretty fair and stand-up approach to it. I think a lot of people are coming out the gate like, yo, give me money. How I make money. Um, So I think, yeah, so we're going to focus on servicing you guys first. So we need feedback. We need to know what the fuck you need, what you want, what you're looking for. uh, Because I can figure it out. If I don't know what it is, I will bring a motherfucker on who does know uh, what the answer is. Uh, Did you start about the money or you started about providing a service first? What what was the priority in the beginning? Um. It was, uh, wasn't about the money. Or, or just you, or, serv- or you like, you're servicing yourself. <laughs> you me specifically? Yeah, were you trying to service the audience first, or you were trying to monetize the audience first? Oh, no, I'm shocked. Uh, well, 
it, you, I want to serve them first because it's content what I do. Mm. So I already know, you know, who the demographic is. Right. So you know what they're into. You I know what they want. Into. I got to give them what they want. See, you had that. You had that going for you is that you knew going in exactly what the clientele wanted. I'm trying to figure that out because I got people of all different ages looking for all different uh, things. Hey, so. yo, and let me tell you one thing I do too, man. I, I, I do a lot of polls, like on Twitter. Uh. I just did one today. I, I literally, I am, I'm like, oh, shit, well, I'm fine. Right? See? Mm. I mean, this is a lady. This is some of the ladies. I was like, ladies, how do you feel? You know, it's, I, I get to know my audience. Wait, what did you say? How do you tell no, when I, you catch you know, a guy I, looking at your breast? Oh, no, how do you feel when you catch a guy looking at your breast? Yeah. Oh, shit. You know what? I got to get some of your questions. Shit, I literally was thinking. I was like, let me just ask, put it on Twitter. If I ask it, let me just put it on Twitter. If I think it, let me just yeah, put it on Twitter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, see, that's that's part of building the rapport uh, with the ladies, though. Cause the, the, Damn. The, 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 the ladies like uh, Barry. They're like, yeah, I had great great working experience with Barry. <laughs> it's like working. That's what you call it. <laughs> yeah, man, what, hey. Yo, they want to see a resume. You know what I mean? Guys just try to get with the girls. And they don't get, they got no. Yeah, because they don't have no girls that nothing, are gonna they vouch for them. Yeah, they don't got mini vids or nothing. They don't got nothing. Yeah, they, they don't, don't got no chick that's gonna. They gonna, wanna, gonna hey, speak. I wanna shoot content. I wanna, hey, I wanna do content. Let's go. Mm. Let's shoot some content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you try to smash it. Oh yeah, what, are you are you talent <laughs> tested? Are you are you in the database? Bro, I get so many of those messages. Bro, I, I, I'm starting to just forward them over to him. But they be chicks DMing me all the time. Like you wanna shoot for OnlyFans? You wanna shoot for OnlyFans? I'm like, bro, I'm like not me. Guys, you don't know, you don't even know how much money I turned down, bro. You guys do not know how much money I turned down. Uh, you know, because I'm not into the I'm not into the sex work. I'm not into the sex industry. But uh, yeah, bro, there's a lot of girls out here eating. It's safe to say there's a lot of chicks on OnlyFans, bro, and they need to feed the engine because the girls that are doing. Uh, what do you call it when they hook up with a guy on camera? I don't know what you want to call it, but the girls that incorporate a dude in their content are constantly looking for new dudes because <laughs> I guess I guess their fan base don't want to see them bang the same guy over and over again. So anyhow, so that's why I, I know a lot of guys that are in shape, other than myself, a lot of bodybuilders, fitness models. They also are constantly getting uh, messaged from OnlyFans girls like, "Hey, you want to shoot content? You want to shoot content?" Um, but anyhow, not my thing, guys. So jump in the comments. Let us know what you think about what we discussed today. Just basically being, um, you know, not only persistent, but being intentional in everything that you do. You shouldn't be doing anything just to do it. Everything should have an intended result. Everything should be a setup for something else. Play chess in life, guys. All right. Uh, other than that, I think we're out of here, right? It's all good. Yeah. We're All right, over fuckers. 20 minutes. Yeah, oh, we're okay. over 20 minutes, man. Peace.